Hey y'all, Southern Gaming Dude back here once again with some more of that Darkest Dungeon. Make sure to click that subscribe button for more content in the future. But anyways, uh, we are going to check out the well today and we're going to be running this party. So we got this dude and I just realized I need to give him better skills uh, to suit my needs. Let's see here. So he's going to be in the very back. We'll give him that. And maybe we'll just go ahead and give him pull for the future just in case I need it. Let's see here. Vulnerability Hex is okay, but we're going to go with, um, yeah, we're going to go with that and that. And we should be good now. Is this a, was I doing a short run or, yeah, we're doing a short run. Okay. That's fine. We're just going to take 12 food to be safe. Sometimes you get more than two, um, food checks and then you, yeah, yeah, it sucks when that happens. But yeah, we'll take extra food just in case, two keys just in case. It's the weld, so we'll take two of those, two of those, and two of those. And, you know, just a couple torches. And, yeah, I think we're good. Hopefully we find some good loot here today. I wish this was a medium run, but I'm mostly running this for the trinket. It's like a plus five accuracy to the melee attacks or something like that. So, that way if I get another leper, it won't be as bad like that one that I had that just missed everything. And I would like to have a decent leper just for the heck of having one. Um, but yeah. We should be able to get this trinket with relative ease. Corruption has soaked the soil. Two traps. Wow. Two traps. Alright. Alright, Mr. Jester. Sure try this arm. Pretty okay-ish. Wait, do you have... Yeah, you have that. Okay. Whew! Alright, nice. Nice stress heals right off the get-go. Okay, don't forget the Luth Antiquarian SGD. Don't fuck that up. That gummit. Almost fucked that up. Alright, what we got in here? Pretty nasty little fight. It shouldn't be too bad, though, honestly. This is the lowest level dungeon. Yeah, my plan is just to stack a bunch of bleeds right now and just tentacle whip these guys to death with the occultist. And we're just gonna guard, use protect, or whatever that spell, or ability is called. Oh wow, this guy went for my antiquarian. That's really unlucky. Like, these have no speed. She has a speed of five. That's bizarre. Yeah, protect me. That's what it's called. I always forget the name of that skill. But yeah, we're gonna spam the shit out of that. Especially with her being marked. Like, holy shit. I wish they marked the flagellant. That would have been awesome. Hmm. Let's see here. How much is he going to bleed for? He's dead, so let's use the better bleed. The single target bleed on that guy. That'll work out pretty good. And we're mostly just, yeah, trying to hit that guy. That way he dies. Yep. Alright, so we're going to keep spamming this. Anytime you see me run this combo, I'm going to be doing that, like, 90% of the time, I would say. I'm probably going to heal her up just to be safe. Next time it's his turn. That guy's dead as shit. That was a lot of dots he had on him. Holy crap. And we're going to start doing some stress heals this round. We can use a round just to stress heal and stuff. Uh, let's see here. I guess we'll do this. Continue using Protect Me. And, okay, we're going to try to heal her real quick. That was a good heal. That was a damn good heal for this level. Holy shit. And he's pretty much invulnerable at this point. Like, nobody can do shit to him. We're going to Stress Seal him. And we're going to kill this guy, hopefully. Actually, we probably can't kill him this round because he's pretty tanky. Okay, so I get some good crits. Actually, it's just not possible. This guy can't hit him where he is. Oh, he can't either. We might be um, taking some uh, stress penalties or possibly some bonus enemies if we don't kill him this round. Maybe. Because he's been the only enemy alive for a while. Yep, yep. I'm going to take some. That wasn't too bad. Could have been worse. But whatever. We'll just deal with that. It's not a big deal. Should be able to kill him this round. Uh, heal him up, I guess. As long as nobody misses their attacks, he's dead. What's the bleed? Oh wow, he went for that guy. Jeez. 
What's his speed? He has, how is this guy with zero speed going for a speed of six? That's bizarre. That's some crazy-ass RNG right there. That's just extremely bad luck. Whatever. Oh, man. Look at all that. That's some good stuff. Well, so far, the loot's been pretty daggum good. All right. That's what the bandages are for. Guaranteed loot. Boom. More gold. Good stuff. We're going to hang on to those torches right now. I don't really feel like using them at the moment. And we got surprised immediately. That's unfortunate. Um, let's just do that, I guess. Hopefully they don't beat the shell my cultists, which they probably will. Actually, he'll be fine now. We're about back to where we normally are. I want those two switched, but we'll just probably use them where they are for now. We're going to take care of one of these big dudes in the front. Get him bleeding. Um, might be able to just get this guy dead, like, the next turn. Will he be dead? Yeah, he's dead as shit. I'm not too worried about using Protect Me up here, because, yeah, as you can see, they can hit this guy, so I'm not going to bother using all that Protect Me stuff right now. I'm going to go ahead and Stress Heal with him, since he can't attack where he is. Um, and we're also going to pull this guy to the front to really screw them over, because he can't AoE now, which is nice. Maybe we get a good little stab on him there. So that'll push him backwards, and that's a really weak attack. So, yeah. That guy's dead. We're going to hit this guy up. I could have killed this guy, but I just want to get this guy bleeding. I'm not too worried about this guy. I'm more worried about these dudes. They can hit pretty hard sometimes, especially if they start critting. Alright. We're just going to take that dude out. Actually, he was dead. I, I fucked up there. He was about to take four damage. That was a bit of a blunder. I fuck up, too, sometimes, you know? I actually fuck up all the time in this game. But it's okay, you know? Everybody fucks up in this game. And they get fucked up, too. We all do. That's part of the game. Alright, let's see here. I'm gonna heal him. I'm not worried about healing the flagellum. If he gets low, he'll heal himself, most likely. So we're gonna take that dude out. This dude's gonna bleed to death. He's dead. Nice. Beautiful. Great. Let's move on. Good good deeds. Got that. That's good gold. Twelve fifty. That's worth twelve fifty. Alright. Good stuff. Oh, I need to fix my formation. Uh, there could be a room battle over here, and that's what we gotta do to complete this. So yeah, we'll check out over here. I think bandages is also the solution to this. Yeah, bandages are oh man, look at all that deeds too. Holy shit. That's some good loot. Now we got some mushroom people, which is great. Everybody loves mushroom people. I love killing mushroom people. Remember those mushroom guys in Dark Souls? I mean, I know I didn't upload it, but I'm sure some of you guys have played Dark Souls. Those mushroom people just run up, like, all, well, they don't really run up to you. They just casually walk up to you and just punch you, and you die. Those guys are awesome. Um, we're just going to debuff this guy. I'm going to kill these two first. And we're just going to throw up a little guard here. Because these guys can only hit the front two people. Now this guy can hit the back, but it's whatever. I have a feeling this guy's going to be healing himself very soon after this round. Like the next round. Well, not if he dodges though. Come on, get hit once. It's alright to get hit once. Alright, he can heal himself now. Nice. Let's see here. What was stress? Stress is looking pretty decent. It's not too bad. Nice crit. She enjoyed that. That's why she got that stress heal. Woo. Alright. Maybe I should have stabbed him. Yeah, I probably should have stabbed him. Whatever. It's not a big deal. We're actually just going to kill this guy and heal the next round. He should bleed to death easily. Um... This guy's dead, right? Oh yeah, he's dead as shit. So we're just going to debuff this guy. My 60% damage. Get wrecked, sir. You're going to hit for kittens. That's what you're going to do. You're just actually not going to hit him at all. Nice. Alright, so we're just going to stab this guy a bunch. He's still got that harsh damage reduction on him. We're going to do this. Maybe we'll get some more crits. I think it's good crit, right? It's been a while. Yeah. Um, actually, it's not been a while. I think I used it last video. I just forgot. Let's be real. I was hoping for a crit there for some stress heal. But whatever. I guess we'll heal her and him. Nice little crit there. We just have like no stress on us right now. This isn't beautiful. 
Hmm. That heal still does a ton, even with the healing reduction, so we're just gonna stress heal that since he can't attack. And hopefully we can kill this guy for the rounds over, or we're gonna take a stress penalty, probably. That was a really weak number roll, so yeah. We're probably gonna get penalized this round, or this next round, unfortunately, but eh, sometimes it happens. I've got tons of ways to remove stress, so I'm not too worried about it. And we're going to remove some of that stress by critting. Oh, wow, that was a big amount of stress heals. The numbers aren't huge, but, you know, I didn't have much stress to begin with. Um, eh, have some food, boys. There you go. All right, so I kind of want this crest. Hmm. What do I drop? I want to keep the gold, because that, more that will stack later. You know what? Fuck it. We'll see that. I don't need no torches. I don't need that shit. Ooh, two curios. Very nice. So, no room battle there. Hmm. Oh, there's the food check. I was wondering when that would happen. Let's go ahead and select the antiquary, and that way I'll be ready to loot with her, and I'll accidentally loot with somebody else. I hate it when I do that. Alright, what we got? Sash heirlooms. Good. More deeds. So many deeds. Um. I want to say using a shovel on this is good, but I think sometimes it's bad. Ah, what the hell. Well, paid off that time. That's for damn sure. Holy shit. Got some good amount of deeds this run. Like, we got 12. Holy crap. That's amazing. Got quite a few of these. And this is a short run. This is, this is really decent. Oh, that guy's dead. Wow. Holy shit, the stress heals. I'd like to get Protect Me up, because I don't want them plinking her HP down to nothing. Hmm, that's unfortunate. Uh, I guess we'll do the tentacles. Boom. Slap him in the face with them. Yeah. I don't know what it is about these guys. I think they have a high crit chance. I know I haven't been crit yet, but almost every time I fight these, it seems like I get crit. We'll see if that happens this fight. Nope. I'm just not getting hit this fight, which is nice. Should be able to kill this guy if he bleeds. Yep, dead. Goodbye, Mr. Spider. Nobody liked you. Because you were a spider. Dialogue was stopping me from doing anything for a second there. I hate how it does that. Uh, let's see. I think we'll just do this. I'll probably need one of these for a curio in a minute, but I'd rather just you know keep the you know the deeds. Deeds are pretty valuable. Oh look, another hunger check. Just like a minute later. That's a little bit ridiculous. But whatever. That happens sometimes. Bunch of freaking dogs. Good shit. By good shit, I mean it's a bunch of freaking dogs. I'm not too pleased by that. But, you know, we'll just have to deal with it. Bunch of people are probably going to get rabies. Not a whole lot I can do about that, unfortunately. We'll see, though. We'll see what happens. Kill that dog. Alright. Let's see here. Guess we'll just do that. I really wish uh, she would go sooner. I really need to guard her or get the guard on her. Yeah, she's taking a lot of damage already. Hmm. Zero, bitch. Ah, oh, he got rabies though. That's unfortunate. Not a big fan of rabies. If I remember right, it's a pretty good damage increase, but your accuracy goes down. And anything that lowers my accuracy, I am not a fan of. We'll take a look at that real quick, just to refresh my memory. Minus 10 accuracy. Fuck that. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that shit. What I am a fan of is that heal, though. Well, I'm not a fan of is that bleed it just had, but whatever. It'll be okay. Finish that dog off. Antiquarian's good at finishing off low health targets. For damn, that's for damn sure. 
So, is that three damage bleed? It is. Alright. They're dead. If he bleeds, they're dead. Okay, nice. Beautiful. That's a done deal right there. You're just dead. Alright. What we get? A lot of gold. Holy shit. Yeah, I don't want to mess with that. I can't remember uh, what the consequences are. Well, fuck it. What happens if I use a shovel on that? I don't think it does anything, but I'm going to try it anyways. Okay. What happens? Oh, we got lucky. We got lucky. We got the positive. We got the positive outcome. I will take that. I think the gold's worth more than that on resell. Um, yeah. Oh, look. I used storage. Haha. <laughs> okay. Anyways, that run's done. We got that trinket. That's a nice early game trinket for melee. It's not bad. Let's see how much gold we get. Hopefully we get 20k total. It is a short run. Well, we can get 20k total, but uh, we got pretty close. And for a short run, it's really good. But, I mean, considering we got a shitload of deeds, we're just going to click next. Look at that. 14 deeds. And we got a bunch of crests, too, that we need. So that's awesome. Tough. That's a good one. Tough is always good. War HP is just great. Alright, we'll be doing this place soon once we get more, um, more stuff. I don't want to go there too early. Uh, so we got on the stagecoach here. Another jester. A lot of negative quirks. I do need another plague doctor. That's kind of an annoying one. I can fix that though. Yeah, we'll take another plague doctor. By another, I mean our, I think that's the only plague doctor we have. Uh, what do you have? Impulsive. That's annoying. Okay, let's let's see what we're going to do here. Who got negative quirks that run? Oh, all his locked that run. <laughs> None of those are locked before the run started. That's funny. Wow, nobody else got negative quirks. I wasn't really paying attention there, but he does have uh, that rabies we're going to get rid of. Now we get to decide who we're going to clean up here. What do we have? We got all these people are clean. I think we're gonna clean this dude up. Keep this that dude's clean. That dude's clean too. Holy shit, she's clean. Okay, we're doing a pretty good job cleaning these, keeping these people clean on uh, negative quirks, which I'm a big fan of. Whoops, let's get back here for a second. Now I'm trying to. I need this to unlock the level three, I believe, for the treatment ward. Yeah, that's gonna do medical ward, and then it'll do that. So I do want to get this as soon as possible but we need a lot of bust and busts are pretty hard to get unfortunately so um let's see we have a lot of deeds and all that 13 out of 16 hmm well i think we're going to end the video here i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys next time we'll run some more dungeons get some more gold and upgrade some more stuff anyways see y'all next time have a good one